a power a power 9 equals 9, solving for the value of 8. Now, let's raise each part of the equation to the power of 9, because we have 9 here already. This is a to the power of a to the power of 9. Raised to the power of 9 equals 9 raised to the power of 9. Now, I can apply this index law. a power m raised to the power of m equals a power m raised to the power of n. So there's change of powers here. Now I can say that let this a power 9 represents my n and the 9 will represent my n. So I can switch it using this. The 9 will come inside while this will go outside the bracket. So what I'm going to have will be a to the power of this is 9 and this is raised to the power of a to the power of 9. This one here is outside and this equals 9 to the power of 9. Now, if you consider this identity, if you have x power x equals y power y, you can say that x equals y. So you can say that a power 9 equals 9 and from here I can solve for a by raising this to the power of 1 over 9 and also raising this to the power of 1 over 9. So remember a power n or n equals a power n times m. I multiply this out I will have a to the power of 9 divided by 9. This equals 9 power 1 over 9 and 9 divided by 9 is 1. So I'm going to have a equals 9 power 1 over 9. Now, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a power 1, which is a. So from here, you can say that a equals the 9 root of 9 power 1, which is the same thing as the 9th root of 9. Now, that one is being done there. So let's consider solving this using another method. We have a power a power 9 equals 9. So what I'm going to do would be to say let x equals a power 9. Meaning this, we are going to replace it with x. So we have a power x equals 9. I can make use of natural log. I have natural log of a power x equals natural log of 9. If you have natural log of x power y, this is y times natural log of x. So from here, I will have x times natural log of a equals natural log of 9. Now, we have a here. Let's express the variable in terms of x and let's make use of this equation here. x equals a power 9. If x equals a power 9, I can easily eliminate this 9. I can have x power 1 over 9 equals a power 9 raised to the power of 1 over 9. I'm raising each to the power of 1 over 9 to eliminate the 9 here. From here, I have x power 1 over 9 equals a power 9 over 9. If you multiply this exponent now, over 9 is out. So that means your a is the same thing as x power 1 over 9. I come over here. I have x times natural log of, instead of writing a here, I have x power 1 over 9 equals natural log of 9. And Using this identity, 1 over 9 comes over here. I have 1 over 9 times x times natural log of x equals natural log of 9. 1 over 9 times x, this is x over 9 times natural log of x equals natural log of 9. I can multiply this by 9. 9 multiply this, 9 multiply this. 
So we are going to have 9 times x times 9x over 9 times natural log of x equals 9 times natural log of 9. From here, this eliminate this. I have x times natural log of x equals 9 times natural log of 9. x, x, 9, 9. We can compare, and that means our x equals 9. If our x equals 9, what is our a? We can make use of this. If our x equals 9, if our x equals 9, our x is 9. I have a power 9 equals 9. I can eliminate this. Raise this to the power of 1 over 9. Raise this to the power of 1 over 9. This multiplies out. Of a power 9 over 9 equals 9 power 1 over 9. 9 over 9 is 1. So I have a equals 9 power 1 over 9. Or Remember, a power n over m equals the m root of a power n. That means this will be the 9th root of 9 power 1, which is the 9th root of 9. Now, the most important aspect is for us to check. We have to check. I've checked. My a is 9 power 1 over 9, and the question is a power a power 9 equals 9. So, I have 9 power 1 over 9, raised to the power of 9 power 1 over 9, and this is raised to the power of 9. Is it the same thing as 9? Let's apply the index law. We multiply this exponent 9 times 1, 9. 9 divided by 9 is 9. So this is just like writing 9 divided by 9 is 1. So this is just like writing 9 power 1 over 9 raised to the power of 9 because this will give us 1. Right? So you have this, this, and 9. This equals 9. We multiply this again. The exponent. So we are going to have 9 power 9 times 1. This is just like having 9 over 9. This is the same thing as 9. 9 over 9 is 1. So at the end we have 9 equals 9. Both sides are the same. And this means that our answer is obviously very correct, guys. So these are the methods that you can actually solve this exponential problem. I believe you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and goodbye.